It's safe to say. Even in a good town, there's crappy people out there. Danger is all around us. Adults are attacking kids. Kids are getting bullied at school. <laughs> this is normally a self-defense class for women, but tonight it's for kids. Cross. Okay. Daddy. Instructor David Woods is seeing an increasing demand. This Alliance seminar gets flooded. I mean, they get 50 to 100 calls the day after a news report comes out for the self-defense programs. The truth is, local crime rates are trending down, but the risk of becoming a victim is still there. I think about people like chasing me, like in parking lots, if I'm scared, people are going to come up to me. Follow, to follow me, for sure, follow me. It's just that kind of fear a site called RateYourRisk.org plays on, but it gives you results. Take the online quiz, and it promises to rate your risk of becoming a victim. I got 98 shows that I am at moderate risk. And this just kind of makes you think twice a little bit when you're out. Various factors can raise your risk. Some are more obvious, like going out late at night. But some are less obvious, like relationship history. You face more criminals because you're in a big city. And I was divorced, so I'm emotionally <laughs> upset. That was a long time ago. You're probably a middle class person who faces a normal to low risk of murder in today's society. Scary. How does that make you feel? A little bit scared. I've heard of some things that have happened, you know, out by Riverwalk, people getting attacked. So that makes me more aware. Experts say it's all about awareness. Being aware that something could happen to you could stop it from happening. Self-realization is really important in these types of situations and knowing that you would do what you need to do to be able to protect yourself. It's just really important to be in the moment. Be in the moment of where you are at, what you are doing at all times. Keeping your head up, looking around. Woods hey, teaches on, these free classes every month and for him, sacrificing his time is well worth it. I have personal friends who've been robbed and assaulted and raped, and it's, it, it's really damaging to their whole life. The victims of violent crime are a constant reminder of the danger we all hope to avoid. And maybe it can't hurt for us all to be a little more prepared. Courtney Bryant, Eyewitness News.